Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Allie and I'm currently in like a gap year-ish um, before starting medical school in the fall. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, I'm trying to make the medical school application process a little more transparent for everyone because I know that I was super overwhelmed when I started this whole process and if I can just help a couple people out, then I'll be happy. So today I just wanted to talk about my experience as a medical scribe and why I think you should do it and why I think that pre-meds should put scribing at the top of their list of things that they want to do before starting medical school and before applying to medical school. One of the reasons I say this is because it really does give you a glimpse into what life would look like as a doctor and to see if that's something you're interested in after being a part of it. Obviously, the more experience you have before medical school, the better, just so you can be confident that you're making the right decision. It is a really long process and it's a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of money. So you wanna be sure that you're doing what you want to do. So I think being a medical scribe is one of the best ways to figure this out. One major thing about being a scribe that can be better than being like a CNA or an ER tech or an EMT or anything like that is that you don't have to go take some class, get a certificate to be able to do those things. And if you're a traditional pre-med student, then I don't know when you would have that time other than in the summers to get those certifications. But I honestly don't think it's necessary to get the exposure and the experience that you need before starting medical school. So if you didn't know to be a CNA or to be an ER tech or an EMT, you have to complete courses. And I honestly, I don't know the length of them but I know that they cost money, they are time consuming, and, and you have to have a chunk of time to when you can do them and do your clinicals or your rotations or whatever. So it can be a long process, whereas compared to being a scribe, yes, we do have some like online training modules depending on what company you work for, um, and then you have your floor training, but it's not like you have to complete some long course and do clinicals and everything like that before you can get started. So if that's your only pro, then it's a good one because you don't have to set aside time to get trained to do something else and you can kind of just get started right away. One other really big positive I see to being a scribe versus being these other jobs that I talked about is that you get to work right alongside a doctor and i again i can only speak to my experience which i'm a medical scribe in the emergency room and i work for a company i work for scribe america um, and obviously i work in my region i work in oregon so i don't know what it's like everywhere but at least for us and from what i've known from a lot of other people who have been scribes in the past is that you are like the doctor's right hand man during your shift you're there from the moment the patient walks in to the time that they leave as long as your doctor's still on shift when that patient's being dispoed. But you get to see the whole process. You get to hear the history. You get to see the exam. You get to hear about the exam findings. And then you get to hear what the doctor's ordering and what they think might be going on with the patient. So you really get to see the whole process, which is unique to scribing versus being a CNA or those other jobs because those, you're doing your own patient care. You're not directly tied to that doctor. And so yes, you get patient experience, but you don't really get to see the life of the doctor as much as you do as a scribe. Another really cool thing about being a scribe, at least where I'm working and from what I've heard from a lot of people, is that you can really see any procedure that you want to. Especially in the emergency room, you never know what's going to walk into that door. And as you get more comfortable in the environment and with the different providers and with the other specialties that rotate through, you can really get in to see almost whatever you want that's done in the ER. I've been working where I am now for the past like two years, so I know a lot of the staff. And even when the ortho residents come through and they're doing like a reduction or something, whenever I have the chance, if I have time and my doctor's not busy, I ask to go watch that procedure. And most of the time, 
they say yes. I think I've only been turned down maybe once and it was a young male patient that just felt comfortable having other males in the room. But yeah, it's awesome and you get to see whatever you want, which isn't always true as a CNA or a tech or whatever because you might be busy doing your other things and might not be available to watch that procedure. Another huge pro to being a scribe is you will build really good relationships with the doctors that you work for, which will make it really easy to ask for letters of recommendation from a physician, which you need for medical school. So you will be comfortable with at least one or two of the doctors that you work for, or if you're a scribe for only one doctor all the time, then you'll have a really good relationship with that doctor. And so getting letters of recommendation is really easy and they have been able to see you as a person, as a student, as a employee, and they will have a lot to write about you. But there are, I guess, some downsides to being a scribe. I don't really feel like I'm missing out on much because I know I'll get tons of this in the future. But one thing that a medical scribe lacks is patient care or patient interaction. You get to see a lot of patient care happening and a lot of interaction between the patient and the doctor, but you directly have little to no contact with the patient. So this definitely isn't a time where you're gonna get like hands-on experience with anything. Yeah, we don't, we don't get to touch the patient. So that part is a downside compared to being an ER tech or an EMT where you're actually doing things with the patient and for the patient. As a scribe, you don't do those things. But I will say in contrast, you do learn how to chart, which what I've heard from medical students that come through the resident, the doctors, most of them are like, scribing is such an awesome opportunity. You will get a heads up on how to chart because as the medical record system is becoming even more electronic, it's a huge part of the physician's day is doing their charting. So if we already know how to do that, then we're like a leg up. And also we learn so much terminology and so much of the process of just how patients are seen, especially in the ER, because that's where I work. But we have a really solid foundation um, going into medical school. And I honestly feel like I have tons to learn, don't get me wrong, like I basically know nothing, I feel like. But I also feel like I've learned so many words and terms and different illnesses and how different things connect different tests to order what those mean and so much stuff just by like watching and and asking questions whenever i can so i really do think being a medical scribe is like the best thing you can do to prepare yourself for medical school and to get letters of rec get hours um, it's also like shadowing. I didn't get to shadow because of COVID, but a lot of the schools counted my scribing hours as shadowing because I am, I'm following them around, doing their charts for them. I get to see everything. So I really have hours of shadowing if you really think about it. So today's video, I really just wanted to share my experience as a medical scribe. I know I haven't posted in a few weeks, but it's honestly kind of hard to think of content when I'm like not in school. I can't do like study with me videos or like a week in the life as a medical student because I'm not one yet. Um, a lot of my days really look the same and a lot of them I'm at work. So I thought it would be good to talk about scribing. I really do think it's a great option for pre-med students. I have a question of the day for the comments. If you guys are training or have been scribes, what are your experiences with it? And if you aren't a scribe or are interested in becoming one, do you have any other questions for me? I hope you guys are having a great day or night whenever you're watching this video. And if you have any recommendations or things you wanna see from me in the future, please let me know, I'd love to do them. And like I said, I'm in need of ideas. I will see you in the next one, bye.